if you are of Hispanic or Mexican descent, you had better be seriously concerned uh, because President Donald Trump is not playing. He is definitely not playing as far as getting out all the illegal immigrants. Now, according to the laws of this land, if you are a citizen, then you can't be deported. If you are uh, a child that was born here on, in the so on the soil of the United States of America, you cannot be deported. But man, what are people going to do when you start ripping families apart? Because whether we like it, comprehend it, understand it or not, that is what's getting ready to take place. You know, I live out in the country, and um, and these country farmers, they depend, I mean, almost 99% upon the Hispanic labor in order to get their crops in, their tobacco, their tobacco, their corn, or, or whatever may have you. Because you're not seeing white Americans, uh, because the county I live in, it is 99.95% Caucasian. Well, now let me readjust those numbers. It's 96% Caucasian, 3% Mexican, and less than 1% black. That's the, the county I live in. That, that's the demographics that we have up here. And they depend heavily and greatly because these children, you know, they drive around and these, you know, mom and daddy make a lot of money doing this tobacco. And, um, uh, they drive around these nice brand new trucks and stuff, smoking black smoke all over the place. I guess this thing do in the country. But um, you don't see none of them out in the tobacco fields, cutting tobacco, trimming tobacco, uh, harvesting corn. Uh, you don't see none of that at all. No, -uh, they ain't going to do that. They are not going to do that. Uh, but on the weekends, they do drive trucks around the square, and, and then they drive around and they hang out up here by the grocery stores and stuff. I guess that's the thing to do. But um, I can tell you right now, that all these service sector jobs and, and all you people out there that are employing um, Hispanic immigrants and stuff, you got something to worry about because everything is getting ready to change. And the way I see it, you got one or two things to do. You either gonna upgrade the pay of these service sector jobs and, and start paying people a decent amount of wage, American families, or you just gonna be uh, suffering in your business, big time. You're gonna be suffering in your business uh, because the, what's going on right now is a clean total sweep of this country and i do mean a clean total sweep of this country um but i do know the first thing that they're doing is everyone that has caused trouble you gone you out and and um you you have a right uh to be terrified and fearful because they're gonna hunt you down they're gonna find out where you at and then you going back period that's all there's to it um and, and i mean after all what, what do you say what do you say about this Everything that Donald Trump ran on as far as campaign promises, this is a first for us to actually see a politician to actually um, make good on anything that he has ever promised during the campaign. He's already done start taking the first steps in repealing Obamacare. He's already done signed um, the presidential executive order as far as the wall goes. Um, he's all, I mean, he's signing executive orders left and right, left and right. And, um, they're going to be done. They're going to be implemented. That's just all there is to it. Um, and he, if he's the type of president, that, you know, because, you know, Congress can be something else. If he's the type of president um, that he can't work with Congress during his tenure, and you might as well get ready for eight-year tenure. During his tenure, he's going to executive order um, uh, this whole population, this country, half to death. And that's just the truth. So we might as well get ready. For him to probably double, if not triple, the executive, the amount of executive orders that has ever, ever been signed into law, temporary law, as long as his tenure is there as president. And you can believe it right now, he's going to have eight years. You can believe it. Um, I still don't understand for the life of me why these people are protesting. Maybe you got something more than I know. I don't know. I just don't have it. Let me know when you find out exactly what's going on. But families, they, you, you've got a right. Uh, to be fearful, and you've got a right to be at pause. You got you got a great concern upon you, um, and if you're here illegally, um, you know the day of handouts, the day of EBT cards, the day of uh, free licenses with no insurance, and and blase blase, and all this other stuff. You can count it out. It is literally over with. Your day is at hand. So get your affairs in order. Get your affairs in order, and that's the truth. And that's the truth straight away.